<laughs> My great grandmother was a Guinea woman. Wide eyes turning the corners of her face, she could see behind her. Her cheeks dusted with a fine rash of jet bead warts that itched when the rain set up. Great grandmother's waistline was the span of a headman's hand, and she was slender and tall like a cane stalk, with a Guinea woman's antelope quick walk. And when she paused, her gaze would look to see her profile fine like some obverse impression on a guinea coin from royal memory. Now it seems her fate was anchored in that unfathom of a sea from a great grandmother called the Eye of a Sailor who ship sailed without him from Lucy Harbour. Great grandmother's royal scent of cinnamon and scallions drew the sail up the Straits of Africa and the evidence is my blue-eyed grandmother, the first mulatto, taken into Bakra's household and covered with his name. And they forbade great grandmother's guinea woman presence. They washed away her scent of cinnamon and scallions. They controlled the child's antelope walk and they called her uprisings rebellions. But great grandmother, I see your features, blood dark appearing in the children of each new breeding. And the high yellow brown, it is darkening down. Listen children, it's your great grandmother's turn. Good afternoon, it's so lovely to be here. <laughs>